Hello and welcome you to a new tutorial series. In this series we are going to be making a full mobile game like this. So we have a main screen, we have a shop and we can select different spaceships. We can actually even buy those sp spaceships right here for the cost and all of it works on our mobile phone as well. We can go back to the play mode. We have some different levels that we can select. All of this is also going to be saved and once we select one of these levels we have some kind of goal to complete them. So right here you can see we have to move around to shoot asteroids. We can focus on them, we can move around, we can hit them, fire rockets like this. Those look quite awesome. We have golden asteroids and we can die when we get hit by them and we can complete a level. Once we complete a level we can go back to the main menu. And after every single tutorial, you will be able to try out the tutorial on the mobile phone. It's going to be fully working. If you want to know how to make this full mobile game, just subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading two videos every week, probably on a Sunday and a Wednesday. And also the link to the full playlist is going to be in the description down below of every single video actually. And the tutorial files are also going to be in the description down below. Now let's, let, let me show you how to connect your phone to Unity if you don't already know. If you know that you can just skip watching this tutorial. Uh, we are done for the information with this tutorial. But if you do not know how to connect your phone to Unity, let me show you how to do that. First off, you want to download a name called Unity Remote 5 right here. You can actually download it from the App Store and the Google Play Store, it doesn't really matter. Next up, you want to go to Unity, go to the Edit, and then the Project Settings right here, and go to the Editor in the Project Settings panel, and then for Unity Remote and Device, select any Android device. You'll probably have the None right here, and you want to select any Android device. Then you actually want to close the Unity Editor, then you want to connect the phone via a USB cable, then launch Unity 5 Remote and after you launch Unity 5 Remote, the application right here, then you want to actually launch the Unity Editor and you should be good to go. You just want to hit the play button in the Unity Editor and the game window should be casted to your Unity 5 Remote just like we have here right here. So I can hit the shop, bu shop button again and I can also do the same thing in Unity right here. I can hit the menu button and the play button and everything is going to work awesomely. So this is how you can connect your phone to Unity and if you want to see the tutorials again, subscribe, like the videos and yeah, let's get started with this tutorial series.